Today, yes, it is the first day of school for Alamo Heights ISD and East Central ISD. This morning, our Sarah Coaster was at East Central's Legacy Middle School, where teachers welcomed the students. Some little nervous coming into school. Kind of nervous and exciting because sixth grader Alexis Salinas having those first day jitters, but she says with her eighth grade sister by her side, it keeps her calm navigating the new schedule changes that come with middle school. The biggest change is that last year we had only one teacher and this year we have like a lot of teachers. So like that's what I'm like excited about. Legacy Middle School Social Studies teacher Lizzie McLean giving the best advice for students who may be nervous on their first day. Remember to breathe. She says this week is all about getting to know the students and making them feel comfortable. Hey, what do I need to do in order to be successful? Um, so we make sure we build those lessons in with our social emotional learning curriculum and then also making sure that we take the time as teachers if a student is kind of in crisis making making sure that we can help them, comfort them, support them, and get them what they need. Principal of Legacy Middle School Lori Barber says the district's priority this year is safety of the students, and the district is in constant communication with parents and has made sure all campuses are secured. And the district also uh, did an audit this summer of all of the, the schools. They checked all of the exterior doors, made sure that they were all functional and working, and so we put a lot of new measures in place. Here. Mom to 6th grader Alexis and 8th grader Addison says safety is always is a concern for parents, but overall she feels good about her girls going back to school. There's always that small worry, but just hearing the announcements being made and how safety is a priority, I'm, I'm feel, feeling pretty confident and pretty at ease. And the district wants to remind all students that they eat for free this year. Breakfast and lunch will be served at all campuses. I'm Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.